Hey my loves, thank you so much for joining me in another video and if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, there are a couple things that I want to talk to you guys about and like update you on actually. And the first thing is I got my lashes done <laughs> and I've been holding off on it for so long. I haven't had lashes since the beginning of this year, literally. I think I had my lashes done last in February, so... And I'm happy. I just felt like, you know what, like it's summertime and I can't be sticking on those lashes anymore, like those strap lashes. I just got really tired of it. So here we are. And I found a really sweet girl that does them and I'm just happy. Like she's so gentle. Like I'm very freaking happy I found her. I think I'm back to individual lashes for now. Hopefully my lashes don't like fall off like how they were previously so that's number one number two is i am going gown shopping which i'm very excited about i'm trying to give like a princess cinderella vibe a moment because mickey and i are doing a photo shoot for our two-year anniversary and i want it to be kind of dramatic like why not I've literally been waiting for a chance for me to buy a beautiful, gorgeous gown. So I'm meeting up with Amanda and she's going to help me pick the perfect dress that I will wear on the actual like anniversary dinner date, which I'll talk to you guys more about as well, because I'll be planning. I'm planning this year. He planned last year's celebration. So this year is mine. So we'll talk more about that um, for now. We're gonna get a gown. I'll be on my way to her in a few. Just running a quick errand with Bay, And yeah, we'll talk a bit more once I find the dress. If I find the dress today. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they were buy. Wow. She love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Full S13 stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up, I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow, that's cause the necklace of Frank. Her, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the nines, do it Breaking and bending the spines, do it I hate a privileged rapper that they had to hit six times, do it Niggas be full of excuses, that lady taking their time Whoa, whoa, whoa Look at me dead in my eyes, you see all the times that I had to go slide Too many sticks, we go to war with whoever ain't never been by Too many sticks, I was dead, yo, ops, and none of them died Pussy, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up Pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed. Texting emojis, tongue got eggplant busting went over her head. Catching my side of the studio, make him repeat what he said. Pussy. Yeah, yeah, let's have sex in the car. The Maybach came with a bar. I'm wiping my dick with a bra. Snipe his ass, he got hit in the head before. Ops get underbody attention, I give them my all. Oh how you come over the spot when you know it's your time of the morning? How? Make a distance, see how fast you go from the boot to a bun. She say she hungry, I gave a dick for bun. Send me my whole fee, I don't do back ends and flint. No, no, no. Let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it take. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow, that's cause the neck is a frame. Her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the nines, do it. Breaking and bending the spines, do it, do it. I hate it. Oh, oh my gosh, and that's crazy. Hey, my love. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Hi, Hi baby. I'm with Kim, and he's gonna help me pick out my dress, right, baby? You gonna help me? <laughs> yeah. So, which one did we see? I like the one over there. This, this orange one, like in the front, front, front. This one? This is this one? Yeah. This is what it's not have. as formal, but it's kind of cute. I don't know. I saw it on the IG thing, and I was like, 
It's kind of gorgeous. I love it. It's giving summer vibes. Yeah. But not dramatic and over the top. <laughs> it's giving like I could wear this on a normal day or what? Yeah. Hmm. This is nice though. This is the takeover. I'm going to be making videos of Princess in her dresses, okay? In the meantime, this is where we are. She'll be coming out from there. Bye. Hi, my love. Oh my God. Come. Come, you're walking now. Pick a dress for me. Which dress do you like? <laughs> Which dress do you like? It's the only thing that's on my mind. Other than pussy, you can't put me. So I don't know why I thought I would just get a dress today. Like I really wanted to just find something I liked, try it on, and buy and be done with it. And that's not what happened. Um, the store barely had my size. There were so many beautiful dresses, but they just were not my size. It was literally to the point where they're like, oh, I could just get a tailor made, you know, because new stock only arrives in August and I cannot wait that long. And I'm kind of annoyed because I saw this beautiful dress. I'm gonna insert the clip. And um, I really wanted the dress, low key. And then the longer I was in it, I kind of started changing my mind. Shit, I cut my finger. I don't even know how. Like, super freaking random. Anyway. Super random. I'm kind of pissed off, annoyed. So I ended up buying some lingerie to like cheer me up because I love lingerie. And I'm at the store. I literally made a TikTok a while ago buying lingerie and that went viral if you guys know you know let me just show you guys so this is what i ended up getting super cute so at least it like cheered me up a little bit i think i just need to go take a nap and plan we need to go to more stores or i'm just gonna have to cancel this thing and we're not gonna do a photo shoot because what the fuck my loves so i am in better spirits i'm getting my hair braided this morning so i'm kind of just waiting for my hairstylist to arrive i'm having breakfast some tea oh and i had a banana and i'm having like peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> and I'm actually watching some YouTube while I wait for her to arrive. I don't know. I was thinking of straightening my hair, but I'm just lazy. She's bringing a blow dryer. Anyway, when I got home yesterday, like, I was honestly in the worst mood. Shame. And Mickey was just like, what's wrong? Like, what happened? Like, what's up? And I told him, and he was just like, girl, like, that's not anything to be upset about. Like, there are more stores. There are more this or that. And like, I get it, like there are more stores and I'm still gonna look, but I was just really upset because I really wanted that dress. And I always get really upset when I go into these stores. And you can tell me if you relate to like, whenever I go to these Turkish stores, like they don't always have like my size. And he was just saying like, listen, like, you know, this place is like Turkish people are usually like really petite. So like they don't always accommodate like bigger sizing for like, just african women you know bigger hips or bigger ass or whatever the case may be bigger breasts and so he was like they just don't always accommodate for us like you shouldn't be sad about that like you know and it always makes me really sad because when i don't find my size in these stores it makes me it literally makes me want to lose more weight if that makes sense and i don't know if that's like a toxic way of looking at it um, I just don't like the feeling of not finding my size in the stores. It makes me feel like I'm overweight or like something's wrong with me when that's not the case. And so it kind of just makes me start obsessing over like losing, losing more weight so that I always have my size. Like I'd much rather not losing like a ton of weight and becoming like super, super like thin, but just being in a space where I can always find my size. Like that's kind of where I want to be at. Like I don't like this shit at all. I don't like not finding my size, even if it's like just because they don't 
um always have like the bigger sizes in stock and stuff like that um bigger sizes being like 42 and i don't think that's big but like it just makes me feel like oh my gosh i should probably just go down to like i don't know like 30 39 or whatever something like that at least and let me not even get started with like my shoe size <laughs> especially in heels like i barely find them here like i need to order them online and that's also another annoying thing when i see really like gorgeous heels or boots or whatever and they don't have my size which is a 41 like they usually stop at 40 and that's the stuff that i really hate about this island like they just don't have a larger range of like sizing and it's just stores in general it's just like annoying but yeah anyway i'm in better spirits now we ended up having a really good time we were playing like r&b and just jamming i was dancing um drinking my favorite drinks so that's gonna how i ended the night and hopefully today's gonna be better like i did want us to like spend some time together maybe go to the beach or something but he's busy today so i think i might just work on a couple of personal stuff like i haven't set up the board since after junior came oh i think hairdress is here hold on baby um so i'm definitely gonna just do that <laughs> So you guys, this is the final result and I am so freaking happy. This is exactly what I wanted, literally how I envisioned it. I wanted it a bit shorter than this, but my hair has grown and so we had to go longer than my hair just so that it sits well and I don't end up cutting my own hair later on, but I'm obsessed. I'm super obsessed. I wish I had somewhere to be just to show off because she killed it and i linked her details down below her ig or her snapchat one of those so if you guys want to get your hair done she lives in guinea and she's really affordable and it's a house call so you know who doesn't love a house call to a birthday celebration coco bongo it's like a beach club situation so this is my outfit i did a light makeup can you imagine like i'm not wearing any foundation just some concealer and eyeshadow that i used to contour my cheekbone loving this hair like not gonna lie put some gold earrings on and i'm ready to go i'm just waiting for the go ahead and i'm ready to go super early i actually have something to do with Nikki. we have an errand to run and he'll most likely just drop me off and i'll be meeting my friends and i can't wait i'm so happy so excited i've been in the house <laughs> for way too long like i haven't had like an actual chill like you know situation in a minute um am i lying i'm not lying i mean I'm not counting my brother's like time here that's different like this is like we're all gonna be chilling drinking you know what i mean like with my brother it's more like wholesome and pg <laughs> you get it so i'm really excited about that hey right, guys this is miriam look at how good <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah.
Change in location, guys. Hopefully, this place will be better because we were take some shots oh it's been a long freaking day i was i i promised i was gonna tell them what happened do you want to tell them what happened tonight today mm -hmm. um we went to coco bongo and it was dead like it was boring guys <laughs> It we, was fucking boring. Mm -hmm. We went to Elmer and then we thought it was gonna be vibing because they posted that they have a Caribbean party. Guess and what? when we got there, the DJ wasn't even there. Mm. So for the longest time, we waited hours. And guess what, guys? The DJ came. Just when we're about to leave. That's when we we're about to leave. Fucked up. And it was good though. The music was good, but it, it was, was like, fuck, we gotta. We go. had to leave. So we're just gonna continue the after party here. You mm -hmm. know. We're gonna finish this bottle. And, and chill exactly <laughs> so that's all we're doing guys oh yeah that's all i'm gonna say for now we'll talk tomorrow because yeah <laughs> Good afternoon guys oh my days yesterday was something else like i can't believe how drunk we got like it was so fun and that was the first time i've actually hung out with my school friends in that setting and you guys know how it is like are you really friends if you haven't gone out or done something not school related you know what i mean so this is our first time actually going out having drinks and it was so fun so wholesome and i'm gonna end the vlog here so thank you so much for watching supporting me please subscribe if you haven't already like the video leave a comment share my account with whatever you feel might like i'll see you guys in the next video